I've been a Delkin fanatic now for over 15 years and I still shudder when I see people using roller alarms. Now, one of the main reasons I say that is because Delkin has a main signature feature which is the vibration system. And why that's better than a roller buzzer is quite simple really. You get a lot of nightmare stories of people when they've woken up using a roller buzzer, they've had a take and it's not even registered. The line can sometimes flick to one side of the roller. On other occasions, the actual line can freeze in the roller buzzer in extreme conditions. That will never happen with a Delkin. The vibration system is adjustable, so you can have it super sensitive or almost no sensitivity whatsoever. And that's got its uses for different conditions. So let's have a look at them. So the Delkin has a plus and minus sensitivity setting. Now, in most situations in the UK or where I'm fishing France and I'm sort of carp fishing for big carp, I prefer to have it on the plus setting. I normally have it on plus and either two or three. Now that makes the alarm quite sensitive. Let me just show you now. I'm just barely moving it. That's like probably a mill of movement on the line and I had a couple of bleeps there. And that's vital for me, you know. If I'm fishing for big carp, if I'm fishing at long range, the last thing I want to do is be in a situation where the carp are getting away with it, or I'm getting line bites and I'm not actually getting any registration back at the alarm end. And with this plus and minus sensitivity, you can control what feeds back to the bank. If I move this from plus to minus and give you an idea of the change in sensitivity. Now, I've got it on zero sensitivity. That's almost no sensitivity. I'm gonna, I've had to almost pull line off the reel to get a bleep. And that's why when you're fishing rivers or flowing water and places where you're gonna get a lot of sort of movement, things hitting the line, that's when the minor sensitivity comes into its own. And if you get a full blooded run, you're gonna get registration. But for sort of big carp situations, I would always recommend that you go on the plus setting and either put it on one or two, but maybe even three, okay? That's very important. Now, another time that I'd put it on minor sensitivity is when I'm fishing under the rod tops. Now, if fish are sort of coming in close and they're touching the line and the alarm head's on loud, the last thing you want is that alarm to keep beeping and potentially spook fish away. So my recommendation would be to put it on the minor setting and then maybe sensitivity two or three. Now, that'd be more than sensitive enough to give you a sort of good screamer when it goes, but also you're likely to get the odd line bite to let you know fish are in the area. And also, more importantly, if fish have got away with it and have blown your rig out, you're likely to still get a decent registration then. So that's how I'd use them. Sensitivity that you can control from the maximum possible to the minimum to suit all fishing situations. That leads us on nicely to the RS Pro receiver. Now here I've got the TXI Plus Alarm, which is the top of the range Delkin available, and it's paired perfectly with the RX Pro. Now in the top right hand corner, you've got the letters L and D. Now the L stands for local, and that means you've got up to 50 meters of range from your rods. So generally, if you're fishing on your rods and you're close to the tips, then keep them on local setting. And also that maintains the battery life the best. Moving on to the D, that stands for distance, and you've actually got up to 200 meters of range on the receiver. Quite unbelievable, really. So if a mate's likely to be that far away, then you know you've got the security of getting perfect range back on the receiver head. And talking about the LEDs, you can literally tune in loads and loads. I couldn't even tell you the number, but it's a lot of alarms that can go onto this awesome tiny bit of kit that does so much. Well, there you go, a brief look at the Delkin alarm range. There's also an EV model in the Delkin portfolio, which is slightly less expensive. However, just to reiterate, this sensitivity factor of a Delkin is vital. The vibration system really sets it apart from any other alarm on the market. And I'd seriously tell you now, do not invest in a roller buzzer. These are the ones that I would use above anything else in all conditions. There is nothing quite like a Delkin. Next stop, Delkin accessories. The Delkin boys back in the office have been busy working on some brand new accessories for 2012 and here's one of the latest. This is called the Black Box and it's a tailor-made transportation tool for your prized Delkins. Let me open it up. It's worth pointing out that this is actually a working sample, so the finished one will have the uh, slots cut out perfectly for the job. However, you're going to be able to fit in four Delkins and if you like, you can have the hard cases left on them and also the D-locks. And there, a nice little slot for the RX Pro receiver also. Included in the inside is a little waterproof case, so you can put your Delkim accessories in there, such as your night lights, your duo carbs, it'll all fit in there, and it can be zipped up 
and taken to a lake, safe in the knowledge that they're never going to get damaged. It's a lovely hard case, a brilliant new piece of kit from Delkin. And let's move on to some of the other accessories because they've now been building a real full system, the Delkin boys. Firstly, the snag ears. I think these are absolutely beautiful. The way they've made them, the way it just fits onto the battery sort of door on the back. It comes complete with its own battery door. You just take the other one off, slide the new one on, screw it in and you're ready to go. And they just pop out. So when you finish fishing, take them off and they'll go in the case perfectly. And then working our way down here onto this Delkim sticker with the Corda logo. Um, we get a lot of questions about these particular stickers. These were just a limited run done for Team Corda and unfortunately they're not readily available. And moving on to the Duo Carb, this is a really clever bit of kit that Del Mang has sort of been the brainchild of. What it does is it basically transforms your sort of nightlight bobbin into a swinger and that serves two purposes. Here I've got it on a slack line and there's, there's no chance of it sort of moving around in the, in the wind because that sort of duo carb keeps the stability. And also, when you get fast takes on a slack line, the last thing you want to do is have that sort of bobbin swing around the line and get tangled up. That stops that happening also. Just pulls up nicely, and you'll notice that very, very tidy light on the night light. I absolutely love it. You can have a matching your alarm color or have it a different color, whatever suits your fishing. And that just basically plugs in to the little socket underneath the Delkin. And any beat registered on the alarm, is registered on the nightlight. And in effect, it's like a very, very clever isotope and they just hang there beautifully. And if you sort of bring up the little um, sort of standing lights on there, if I keep that down for sort of three pips or four pips, two, three, four, get some little lights come up. And what that means, I've got a constant, there'll be a constant light in here as well. So that really is like an isotope. Excellent, clever idea. And then let's move on to some of the other things in the range. They've got the D-lock now, and that means you can just detach the alarm from the bank stick and not have to keep screwing it in and out. Everything can sit there and you can put your alarm away safely and put the bank sticks into the rod bag. And here's another new product that Delkin have just released. These are the D-stack weights that screw into the bottom of the night light. Again, you can have one on, two on, or even three or four. It depends whatever suits the fishing situation. And they'll also work with some of the other bite indicators out there on the market, as long as the threads match. Overall, Dell can continue to work on a system that all works in tandem. They've also released some clothing. Here's the rather large and too many sizes, too big for me polo shirt. There's also a fleece hat and a baseball cap. As always, Delkin continue to set new benchmarks in bite indication.